Good morning everyone. Welcome. Saturday, 7th week of Easter. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and his brethren. Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us offer all those who are engaged in the research and finding a vaccine and a medicine to COVID-19. We ask of the Lord his wisdom upon them. Let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord forgiveness and pardon and make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. of the Apostles. On our arrival in Rome, Paul was allowed to stay in lodgings of his own with the soldier who guarded him. After three days, he called together the leading Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, although I have done nothing against our people, or the customs of our ancestors. I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and would have set me free, since they found me guilty of nothing involving the death penalty. But the Jews lodged an objection and I was forced to appeal to Caesar. Not that I had any accusation to make against my own nation, that's why I have asked to see you and talk to you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear this chain. Paul spent the whole of the two years in his own rented lodging. He welcomed all who came to visit him, proclaiming kingdom of God 
and teaching the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ with complete freedom and without hindrance from anyone. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam, the just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. A response? The, just will gaze on the, face of the Lord tests the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. Response, the just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is just and love justice. The upright shall see his face. Response, the just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth says the Lord. He will lead you to the whole truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple Jesus loved following them. The one who had leaned on his breast at the supper and had said to him, Lord, who is it that will betray you? Seeing him, Peter said to Jesus, What about him, Lord? Jesus answered, If I want him to stay behind till I come, what does it matter to you? You are to follow me. The rumor then went out among the brothers that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus had not said to Peter, He will not die, but if I want him to stay behind till I come. This disciple is the one who vouches for these things and had written them down, and we know that his testimony is true. There were many other things that Jesus did. If all were written down, the world itself, I suppose, would not hold all the books that would have to, would have to written. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Let us reflect and pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day especially this message to take into this day. Lord, it is important for us to surrender ourselves to your holy will. Not checking what is going to happen to the others. Not becoming envious, nor proud. But Lord, give us the grace today to look into your will in our own life. And work towards that and put in all our strength and all our love, all our faith to do your will this day in our life. And Lord, we pray from our heart with the help of the Holy Spirit, let your will be done. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his children. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. And ever, Amen. the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Yes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, especially those who could not go to church today because of the restrictions and limitations. This is a time of your spiritual communion. Invite the Lord into your heart, a heart full of faith and love for our Lord. Let me say this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. We spend a few moments in thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May the Almighty Lord bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to the Lord. Just a gentle reminder, today evening also we have that preparation retreat for Pentecost from uh, 8.30 to 10 o'clock and also 7 to 7.30 evening we have the sessions, uh, the kids ministry uh, live tele telecasted on the Facebook. You're all welcome to those. <clears throat> Novena to the Holy Spirit, day 9. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit. On our knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, we offer ourselves, soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. We adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of our soul. In you we live and move and are. We desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace and we pray with all our heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard our every thought and grant that we may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. We cling to you and give ourselves to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over us in our weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, we implore you, adorable spirit, helper of our infirmity, to keep us in your grace that we may never sin against you. Give us grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and every way, Speak, Lord, for your servants listen. Amen. Pray for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Spirit to us, that he may perfect in our soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant us the Spirit of wisdom, that we may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The Spirit of understanding, to enlighten our minds with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that we may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you, and that we may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know God and know ourselves, and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that we may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear, that we may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark us, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate us in all things with your spirit. Amen. Thou on those who evermore thee confess and thee adore, in thy sevenfold gift, descend. Give them comfort and they die, when they die. Give them life with thee on high. Give them joys which never end. Amen. 
today we reflect and pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit perfect the supernatural virtues by enabling, enabling us to practice them with greater docility to divine inspiration. As we grow in the knowledge and love of God under the direction of the Holy Spirit, our service becomes more sincere and generous, the practice of virtue more perfect. Such acts, acts of virtue leave the heart filled with joy and consolation and are known as fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits in turn render the practice of virtue more attractive and become a powerful incentive for still greater efforts in the service of God to serve whom is to reign. Let us pray. Come, O Divine Spirit, fill our hearts with your heavenly fruits, your charity, joy, peace, patience, benignity, goodness, faith, mildness, and temperance, that we may never weary in the service of God, but by continued faithful submission to your inspiration, may merit to be united eternally with you in the love of the Father and the Son. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Yeah. 